Mom? Mom, hi. Look what happened to me. I don't understand. Why did I get so small? I can't even break blocks. I can't do anything. Mom, we have to fix this right away. Look around the field. The good thing is we're in a village with villagers. Mom, maybe we could get some food from them. From these fields and just replant them? How do you feel about that? I think that's a great idea. I'll grow up. Mom will have to do something. I'm really worried. It's like I'm completely useless in general. Maybe the residents won't mind after all. I really don't want to stay small. I have to think of something. We'll have to do something about housing. I can't stay so small, can I? Being on the street, I don't know what will happen to me. Maybe I'll live at all or will not be noticed, but just trampled. Yes, darling, you're right. We have to do something as long as you always stay here. Do I have to do anything? I'll help you grow up, don't worry. You'll grow up as soon as possible. I'll pick some food for you, food. And I'll make sure you have a place to live. Please don't worry, just stay here, my favorite daughter. We'll fix everything. Yeah, it's a very unusual and interesting situation. And food or not, she should definitely give it a try. Maybe it works like with age? I mean, we're all born very small at first, and then we grow up. If that's the case, then I don't quite understand. Why is my favorite daughter throwing up so much anxiety? After all, we will definitely get over this trouble. If it really works like it does as we get older, it will be even easier. Food will definitely help because it gives the necessary vitamins for the growth and development of the body. Especially here are collected the right food carrots. Radishes and potatoes will need, all will need to be harvested well. That also it gives seeds with which. We will be able to sow the same fields again, although realizes we'll not call just beds, but we will immediately try to compensate the harvest to all the villagers. To the people of this village, I hope they're generally okay with it, that we're gathered here and harvesting their crops. But what can we do? I'm willing to do absolutely anything. As long as the blues are very happy, it's oddly surprising. There don't seem to be many people here. All right, well, I've harvested my crops. Now it's time to start cutting down trees, because I have to build my favorite daughter, Blue, a shelter, because right now she can't break any blocks. First things first, we won't need too much wood to build a small little house. We'll also need to be sure to build a workbench to make a few. And how? For example, a pickaxe, or is it an axe? The workbench is not made very, very hard. It's enough. Only put either four logs, sweet for craft, or four blocks of boards. Also in the same slots we'll get a workbench. I would recommend always. First make boards, and then all ready from the boards workbench in this way. It saves a lot more wood. Well, it's time to move out. I have to say that this village is quite beautiful. It's on the beach. It's just a really nice place. There's a cottage with no door. There's just one table during the day. I think it's just the perfect place to put a workbench there and keep it occupied for a while. Yay, 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 Mom, thank you. I haven't seen you yet, by the way. I was able to get the residents to agree to give us a cabin just over there for it. You set up the workbench. That's just great. Thank you so much for the food. I can definitely grow from it, especially if I eat it all at once. Although it's probably not a good idea to overdo it. I can't believe I just made an iron pickaxe. And close by, this village. Where is it now? My favorite daughter, Bluey. I saw a little mine and I went right here, where I am now, to this very mine. There's a lot of blocks, stones row. I don't see how this is going to work, of course. Mining red dust in general, it's like we won't even need it, but the more blocks we dig up, the better. There's also lapis lazuli here, which will also help us out. It's bound to be a jewel. Maybe the inhabitants, they'd be willing to trade with us even for lapis lazuli, even though they're mostly. They only trade for emeralds, but we'll see, we'll see. I think they've been grown, and that's just awesome, if it is. But all I can say is that time will tell. I hope she hasn't gotten too full in age too much. Wow, Mom, look at that. I was able to express it. Yay, 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 I drove. Oh, I'm a little girl. A bigger dog is an amazing feeling. I'm back to my old self. I'm taller, and I can. Now to break the blocks, fully help you, but frankly, because of the fact that such a transformation and my growth happened very quickly, I have not yet been able to get used to and the weaving is not good. You need to give my organ time to adjust. So it's worth, I think, confessing that I ate all the vegetables.
I ate all the potatoes, all the radishes, all the carrots. I've gotten really doomed. Now it's just time for me to go, to go to the house and think. I'd like to rest there, spend some time there, calm down. I'm not really looking forward to growing anything right now. We'll see what happens. I love you very much, Mom. You're very good. You did a great job with the harvest. The vegetables are incredibly tasty and tender. I realize, of course, that it's also a credit to the people of this village and the stock exchange. Without your remarkable weaknesses, it wouldn't have been possible. All right, well, now me. I have to do my duty to the villagers of this village. They gave me an assignment. They told me to clear the lake of unnecessary stones and gave me a plan of what stones to remove. That's what I'm going to do now. And while I'm at it, I just want to say that I am very happy to see the Bluey and such as usual. I'm glad that I was able, I was able to get her in shape. So I think, and this assignment, I think I can do it. It's pretty weird. I can't even imagine what they're doing with lava. Although there are guesses, since the village is located near the sea, perhaps they want to bucket to move the benches of the sea to make stone, and in doing so, so they can increase the land area. Well, I don't have to choose. If they gave me a task, I agreed to it. Then I must fulfill it at all costs, and the rest is none of my business. Well, I have completed my task. And now I must hurry with this great news to our village. How beautiful it is here. I would live here all my life. And there is the sea and mines and not far away. From here, there is a forest. Even the lava lake is decorative. Although the lava there is really real. It's just an amazing place. All the same inhabitants in contrast to the same that we thought in the beginning and here is much more. And it's just amazing. You can't really be lonely here. Mommy, Mommy Love High, I'm so happy to see you. You can see how much I've grown. I feel old already. Honestly, I feel really bad. I'd really hate for you to see me like this and remember me too. Mom, I just want to say that I love you very much. You've done so much for me. To us, unfortunately, things have obviously not gone well. That's why we're asking you, give me a proper burial? I'm sorry for wasting so much time on me for basically nothing. Hi guys, while my parents are sleeping, I really want to go to the mine and find beautiful stones as a gift for my parents. My parents used to tell me that I should stay at home at night because at night outside the house, there are very strong and evil monsters that can harm me. This is the mine I was talking about, which is not far from the house. Wow, very interesting what kind of monsters they have blocks in their hand. Ah, he's beating me. Mama and Papa, save me. I don't want to die. Good morning, family. It's a new day, but for some reason our son is not in the house. My wife ran to find him. I hope he is safe and sound. Daughter, stay home and don't run away. Oh no, I hope our son's okay and we find him safe and sound. Let's hope he's just out for a walk. Oh my god, I see him lying by the mine and he's not moving. Let's hurry up and hope we can help him, honey. I can't and I don't want to believe he's dead. Oh no, 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 my boy. We couldn't protect him. It's unbearable. How will we go on without him, without our son? I, get, I feel so powerless. We have to do something. It's not fair. He was our baby. How are we going to deal with this? Why? Why couldn't we protect him? He was always such a brave and kind child. Now he's gone. We have to find out what happened. We can't just let it go. These monsters, they must not go unpunished for what they did to our son. We have to figure this out, not just for us, but for Bluey. He deserves truth and justice. Yeah, we have to figure this out, not just for us, but for Mike. He deserves truth and justice. We will do everything we can to keep his memory pure and honored. Maybe we can figure out a way to resurrect him, but in the meantime, we need to get him to the church to see a priest. We'll get through this, I promise you. Daddy, Mommy. It's so scary, Bluey. He's too young to die. Why did such a terrible thing happen? We can't lose him. I can't believe he left us so soon. We were always so close, so ready to support each other. May his soul know our love and our prayers, Dad, Mom. Bluey was our shining light, and even in this difficult time, we should remember him with good memories and love. My child, we all feel that pain and regret. Bluey was so dear to us. 
May his soul find peace, and we remember his kindness and bright memory. We will stick together as a family, Emily. We can find comfort and support in this holy place. Our love for Mike and for each other will help us through this weight of grief. We are all in shock and grief. We came to church to pray for his soul, to say goodbye to him, and to find the strength to get through this. We will be together in this difficult moment. This is a great loss for all of us. There are no words that can ease this pain, but we must get through this together. Our family's strength and faith will help us move forward despite this difficult loss. But I promise to resurrect him no matter what it costs me. I have a friend, Alex, who would be happy to help me for a favor. I will be sure to meet her after the ceremony. Alex, thank you for being here. This is such a difficult day for me and my family after losing Bluey. What is that book? What does it say? Getting Bluey back, it's what we all want, but is it really possible? Thank you, Alex, for this. I pledge to do everything I can to try and bring him back to us. Thank you for your help, Alex. We'll start working on it right away. Hopefully, we'll have enough strength and faith to face all the challenges on the road to reuniting with Bluey. Thank you very much, Alex. I will definitely help you in exchange for the resurrection potion. I will kill this dragon just to have my son with us, alive and unharmed. Luckily, I know how to build this portal. You need to arrange the blocks three by three and leave the center empty. And also, in these blocks, you need to insert the eyes that you gave me. I really appreciate your care and support of our family. I really appreciate your concern and support of our family. As soon as I build it, I will go to the other world to fight the dragon. I promise that I will fulfill your mission, Alex, and return to my family safe and sound. The long battle with the dragon was difficult. Despite all the dangers, I managed to defeat him. Its breath of fire, its mighty roar, all that is now behind me. Now it's time for me to return to the normal world and get a reward for my bravery. It's also time to meet my wife and use the resurrection potion that Alex will give me. This fight was very difficult and I can barely stand on my feet, but what you cannot do to keep your son alive and well. The portal that allowed me to pass through new worlds and trials must now lead me back home. My family is waiting for me and I must return to them. I can't believe I've completed this task. Every time a swirl of color and energy surrounds me as I pass through the portal, I feel like I'm about to return to the normal world where my loved ones are waiting for me. Alex, I've returned. This is an amazing moment after the battle with the dragon. My family is waiting for me, but before I go to them, thank you for this resurrection potion. It means so much to me. Thank you, Alex. I pledge to do everything possible to make this potion beneficial and help bring my son back. Now it's time to get back to your family. Hooray, you're finally back. I hope you're okay. I heard that the fight was very, very difficult. I see that Alex gave you the potion. You really did a great job. I'm very proud of you. To be honest, it seemed to me that Alex is very strange, but she fulfilled her promise and gave you the potion after the fight with the dragon. At least for this, she is already worth respecting. My dear wife, we are standing by the coffin of Blue Eye together again, preparing to use this resurrection potion. I believe it will help bring our son back to us. This is a moment of hope and faith when we are ready to perform a miracle in Mike's rebirth. May our hearts and prayers direct this potion for the benefit of our family. Let this potion bring the blues to us. May the strength of our family and love give him the opportunity to return to us. Bluey, we're with you. You did well. I hope you did everything right. Now, as Alex told me while we were waiting for you, we need to send you home and spend the night. In the morning, Bluey will have to appear in his bed. So after we have done everything necessary, we will go home and wait there until the morning. Bluey, my boy, you're back with us. It's incredible. Our family is united again, thanks to the miracle of resurrection. We are so glad to see you. It's really a miracle, Bluey. Our family is full of joy and gratitude for the returned membership. Miracles still happen when we believe and follow our hearts. Hooray, Blue, my beloved brother. I'm very glad to see you again. I really missed you while our dad was fighting to get the resurrection potion, and now you're here with us again. It's just fantastic. It's really a miracle, Bluey. Our family is full of joy and gratitude for the returned membership. Miracles still happen when we believe and follow our hearts. Mom, Dad, and Sister, I'm here. 
I feel great, like nothing happened. Thank you for your love and care. I'm so glad to be back with you. Thank you all for your faith, for your love, and for the opportunity to return to your family. Together, we will be able to overcome any challenge. Thanks to our connection and each other's support, I promise not to leave the house at night without your permission anymore. Yay, we're finally back from school now that we can safely play Minecraft. Yeah, you're right. We can finally play our favorite game after we're done with school and back home. I can't wait until we build our first house in this wonderful game, collect our first resources, build beds, and chop trees. The good thing is that after boring lessons, we can play this very interesting in which we're so many possibilities and have a good time. So let's finally get started and build our first house. What a cute sheep stalking up under that tree. Too bad you have to break it down to get the materials you need. Our first house, we will need a lot of wood. So now I will get it and hopefully my sister will get the material to make a bed so we can sleep at night after we do all the rest of the work. It's good that we've sorted out who's gonna do what in this game. It will save us time and get us closer to our goal as quickly as possible. To chop wood faster, I need an ax, but I wanna save every resource to build a bigger house. How lucky we are that there are a lot of trees that I think will never end and we can build a huge house and also make a lot of useful tools for it. Next to me are so many bleating sheep, not all of them. I will probably need them a little later to make wool beds for me and my little sister. I've missed her already. I hope she's doing something really useful and we meet soon. While I was running with my brother, I noticed a small island on which there are sheep that we will need to make a bed out of their wool. Unfortunately, I don't have scissors to shear them yet, and I have to beat them to get the coveted wool and meat that we will need to not be hungry. We are very lucky with the place because there is so much water around. We can catch fish and eat them, so we will never be hungry. And food is very important here because if we lose health, for example, if we fall down or get hit by some monster, with the help of food, we can restore health and with it, we will not be prevented from extracting the necessary resources. It's so good that I went swimming. I really like to swim. After I get home from school, I really like to swim in the backyard pool. It's so relaxing and you get very clean. Now I have to get back to my brother because I'm done getting wool. Hope he didn't miss me. Hi, brother. We finally met. I got the wool to make our beds and I hope you got the right amount of wood and found a place to build our house. Sure, sis. You bet. Look at this place. At first glance, it may look like it's too deep, but I think it's a great place to build a house because it's got a lot of resources and there's a lake next to it where we can fish. Just be careful, hold on to me and please don't fall. By the way, hurry up and follow me. I wanna show you something while I was getting wood. I noticed this sheep so we can use it to breed them and get wool. Yeah, you're right. I'm glad I have a smart brother like you. Let's check this place out some more. I already see a lot of resources that we will definitely need in the future, but to get down, we will need a stone staircase. I'm glad you found such a great place. But we'll need rocks for the stairs. Let's get them. Sis, I know where we can get stones for the ladder while I was collecting wood. I found a small mine, so follow me and don't be afraid of anyone as you can take shelter in it from the rain. Wow, look at the wonderful flowers in front of the mine. I'll be sure to give them to you for your birthday. Thank you so much, you're so sweet. I'm so glad you found this mine. And I'm glad you liked my surprise. Now watch me break these stones. You will definitely need it in the future to improve our house where we will defend ourselves from monsters and store our resources. It may sound boring, but it's actually necessary. As soon as I was out of the mine for a while, I was soaked again. Finally done. Let's go. I'll give you the resources and you build us a ladder. Finally, we've reached the mine and we're going to build our house. Hold on to me and be careful not to fall. Wow, sis, you're so brave. I'm already scared. I'm actually afraid of heights and I wouldn't want to fall from here, but I'll definitely stay behind you. Brother, when you build a ladder, the height doesn't really feel that high and that's great because I'm afraid of heights too. 
Look, brother, don't worry. We're almost down, and if you get hurt even a little bit, I'll make sure you're healthy, because it'll be easier for the two of us to survive. Thank you so much for taking care of me, sis. I realize we're almost down, but I'm still a little scared. Don't worry, look at me. I'm almost done. I've only got a couple blocks left, and I'll make a step for you so you don't fall and get hurt. Yay, sis. Good job. I never doubted you. Now let's see how deep we are. Wow. I'm happy with my work, too. Thank you for complimenting me. Now, sis, I'll go build a house, and you please catch us some fish for dinner. I'm so glad that my sister has entrusted me with such a responsible task. I'll take care of building our common house so that we have a place to sleep and defend ourselves in case of emergency, as well as store resources. Wow, I just made planks out of logs, but for more complex builds, I will need a workbench. The boards will be very useful to me in building the foundation of the house as we were taught in school when we studied the structure of the house. The foundation of a house is a very important part of its construction because it will determine how strong the house will be and how long it will stand. I hope my little sister has made it to the lake and is fishing because I think I'm getting hungry and I hope she is safe and sound. It is also very important to leave space in the foundation walls for the future doors, so they will go out in two directions, to the resources and to the stairs, so that we can climb upstairs faster. The walls will protect us from the wind and monsters. After I finish building the walls, I will start building the roof so we won't be bothered by the rain while we sleep. How wonderful is it that in this game, I can break an extra pickaxe without losing a single resource. Now it's time to decorate the house a bit, and it will also strengthen its foundation. After I do the strengthening, I will have to climb a bit higher to complete the roof. I hope my little sister, when she comes back with the fish, will be very happy with the new house. Also, I think she will like the roof very much, because the rain will not be able to get inside the house and we will be dry. I'm a little bruised but I won't tell my sister about it so she won't worry. I can also build the roof from here. Well, here is the final part of building the roof, respectively the house. After I finish it, I will need to remove unnecessary parts. I finally finished building the roof and removed all the unnecessary details. Now I will be sure to build us a door so that no one can get into our house. I'm a little hungry because of the energy I put into it. I hope my little sister's around. I'm sure she'll love our first house. Oh, I think I forgot to put a block over the door to keep us from blowing in. I'll fix that. Yay, I can't believe I finally built it. I love doing such demanding tasks. Now I just have to wait for my favorite sister. Now we have to build a bed so that we can sleep on it and rest and regain our strength while the monsters search for victims. It's nice that my little sister gave me the wool that she collected on the island while I was getting us wood. Yay, I built a bed for me. Now I'm gonna make a bed for my sister. Oh, where should I put it? I'll find the right place. Yay, I just found a place for my sister's bed. Good thing we have plenty of room in our house. Hooray, Bluey! I'm so happy you've built such a wonderful house. You're doing a great job, and I brought us some fish. You must have worked hard and been hungry. You did a great job. I'm very happy with you, bro. I hope you didn't miss me. Keep the fish. For your great work, you deserve it. Thank you very much, sis. I'm very happy that you like my work. I hope you are well. I missed you very much. Please rate your black crib again. I tried hard. Now, while my sister is resting and regaining her strength, I can mine our resources. It's good that I made a second door for quick access to them, and I also have a wooden pickaxe with which I can mine them even faster. But unfortunately, I can't mine all the resources with my wooden hand yet. In the future, I will have to improve it so that I can mine them. Wow, how beautiful it is here. There is water, which we need to drink it, or to put out the fire. Also, there is coal here, which we will need to build a torch, and the house will always be bright. Finally, after getting the coal, 
I can make a torch, but for that I need sticks, which we can make from the planks we got earlier. While my little sister has gone somewhere else again, I'll put a torch over her bed so it won't be dark before she goes to sleep and she can do her favorite things. The good thing is that my little sister got a lot of fish and now I can eat it when I run out of energy restoring it after a hard day's work. The torch should be placed inside the house so that we always have light and can study at night and it should be placed outside so that it is easier to find our house at night.
Oh, yo, 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 Dad. What happened to my mom and my sister, Bingo? Why did they have such big bellies like they are pregnant? What should we do now? It's very unusual to see this. I'm very worried because I don't understand where they came from and what it all means. It does look interesting. Maybe they ate too many pies? Or maybe it's part of some secret plan of theirs to take over the universe with inflated bellies. Maybe they should announce their new abilities and become the heroes of this world. It feels like they swallowed the whole watermelon. <laughs> well, who knows what they have in mind? Maybe they've done some mysterious ritualistic act and now they've gotten supernatural powers with those inflated bellies. Maybe it's just yoga balls and they've come up with some more advanced exercise and it's their new fitness idea to keep themselves in shape. Who knows? Anyway, I plan to make a house for them to keep them in order. Please get some wood and make a workbench so I can set it up. I already see a good place for it. As an adventurer in this wonderful world, I realize the importance of resources, caring for our safety and comfort in our gourd shelter. I head towards a forest full of tall trees and green foliage. Each blow on the trunk fills me with a sense of satisfaction at the work I have done, the resources I have gained that will help us improve our abode. Wood is not only a building material, but also a symbol of our ability to create, build, and protect our interests in this virtual world. And it will also help my father to build a house from scratch and furnish it as we need to protect my sister and my mom. I'm very worried about them because I can't understand why they have such big bellies. I start thinking about my mom and sister's big bellies. Their inflated bellies seem like a mystery. However, they always have their own logic and explanation. Perhaps it's some new yoga or fitness technique that helps them maintain their health and fitness. My mom and sister are always open to new ideas and experiments, and I'm sure those inflated bellies are hiding something amazing and useful. Here I am, the father of this amazing family in Minecraft, facing the mystery of my daughter's and my wife's inflated bellies. These enlarged bellies are like a riddle, like a signal of something bigger that we can't yet unravel. Maybe it's part of their new plan or a sign of some change in their health or well-being. It's always interesting to watch our loved ones take on new challenges and put their ideas into action. In addition to this mysterious mystery, I also decide to take on building a house. With the wood my son has collected, I begin to turn my ideas and concepts into reality. Each block, each reinforcement of the house becomes not just a structural element, but a reflection of our family values, our warmth of home, and our willingness to support and care for each other. As I build the house, my thoughts still revolve around the mystery of inflated bellies. Perhaps it's a new diet, exercise, or just a play on words hinting at something unusual that lurks in the minds of our ladies. We have always been supportive and understanding to each other, so I'm sure it won't be long before we find out what's behind this mysterious stimulus. With each block of wood laid, with each brick delivered, I feel our home becoming not just a structure, but a shelter for our hearts, a source of peace and joy for the whole family. Building a house for me is like a symbol of building a solid foundation for our happiness, our well-being, and our common future in this exciting virtual world. I have finally found a deep mine full of valuable resources that we will need to furnish our home and improve our lifestyle here. With every successful pickaxe strike, every ingot found, I can feel our base growing stronger, our capabilities increasing, and our future becoming brighter and more secure. As I extract ores and resources from this mine, my thoughts revolve around the mysterious inflated bellies of my mother and sister. These unusual transformations of theirs make me curious and concerned. Could it be some new strategy for survival, magic, or just an unusual fitness experiment? But I'm sure they have their own reasons and plans that will soon become clear. As I gather unique materials from the mine, I realize that every ore, every crystal, and every ingot is not just materials, but the keys to our development, to our creative and building ideas. This process of resource extraction is not just an act of labor, but a manifestation of our ability to adapt, to create, 
and to take on the challenges this virtual world presents to us. Thus, I continue my quest deep into the mine, gaining resources and wisdom from each treasure trove I find. These resources will become the foundation for our new projects, for improving our home, and for our overall prosperity in Minecraft. With each block of stone, each ingot of iron, I can feel us all getting closer to our goals, our dreams, and the new discoveries that will help us go further in this world. These inflated bellies are part of a mysterious puzzle for me, a symbol that hints at something unusual behind these unexpected changes. Maybe it's a new approach to self-care, fitness, or even a magical transformation. I wonder what might be behind it, and I'm ready to solve the mystery by supporting my loved ones in their strange explorations and experiments. In this fascinating world of Minecraft, where anything is possible, these inflated bellies become a symbol of mystery, creativity, and wonder. And I can't help but wonder if they are leading us to new discoveries and adventures beyond our ordinary understanding. Take a look, dear ones, at this amazing ocean house in Minecraft. What an amazing place to live, overlooking the vast sea and the sounds of the waves that take us far away. This is an amazing place, my dear family. In this house, we can enjoy beautiful sunsets, swimming in the ocean, and the comfort of home. It is our corner of tranquility and harmony in this virtual world. We can collect seashells, watch dolphins playing, and spend time outdoors enjoying the beautiful view and breeze of the sea, as well as fishing. I am glad that our home brings us happiness and inspiration. Here we can create beautiful memories, spend time together, enjoy moments of joy and peace. This house will become not just a place for us to live, but also a symbol of our unity and love for each other. We are happy that we can share this beautiful moment together. Our house by the sea has become a place for us to be ourselves, where we can be energized by nature. Mom, Dad, bingo, I have an idea. You know that horrible, evil, bluey family that's always trying to mess with us? I think we need to figure out a way to protect ourselves from them. And I know what to do. We need to build a super duper secure tower. Imagine, tall, sturdy, with thick walls and little windows. We can make a viewing platform on top so we can see when they're coming. Inside the tower, we can store all our toys and valuables. There will also be food and water supplies there in case the evil family decides to lay siege to us. And you know what the best part is? We'll have a secret weapon in our tower. We can make water cannons out of garden hoses or a catapult that will launch stuffed animals. We could also make traps with paint or slime so they get dirty and don't want to come back. I know it sounds hard, but we can do it. We can ask Grandpa Bob for help because he's so handy. All right, Bingo, ready for the big build? Today we begin building our impregnable fortress. And if the evil Bluey family tries to trespass, they'll be the worst. Okay, the first step is the foundation. Obsidian is the perfect material. It's as strong as rock, and it's not afraid of fire. And with the evil family, it's best to be safe. Come on, Bingo, bring in the blocks. One by one, neat and even. The foundation has to be perfect, or the whole tower will collapse. We don't want our hard work to go to waste, do we? All right, the first row is done. Now the second, third. Look, Bingo, our tower is beginning to take shape. Soon, it'll tower over the courtyard like a castle. Oh, careful. Don't drop the block or it'll break. Obsidian is strong, but it won't survive a fall from this height. Ugh, it's hot. The sun is blazing. Why don't we take a little break? Drink lemonade, rest in the shade, and then we'll get back out there. Look, Bingo, I think there's someone coming over there in the distance. Is that the evil Bluey family? No, it's just me. It's just Mrs. Groff and her dog. Okay, break's over. Let's get to work. We have so much work to do. Walls, windows, roof, observation deck, and of course, the secret weapon. Can you imagine, Bingo, how we'll fight off the evil family? Water cannons, catapults, traps. They'll be sorry they ever messed with us. 
Oh, children, you're so good. Look at what a great tower you've made. Obsidian is a great choice. It's so strong and sturdy. But you know what? I think we can make it even better. Daddy, please bring the iron blocks that were left over from repairing the fence. They'll make our tower impregnable. Iron is no joke. It can withstand any attack. Let's reinforce the walls, especially the lower rows. The evil Bluey family will probably try to break through them with something heavy, but they can't do that with iron blocks. I also think we should make a roof. We can't leave the tower open in case it rains, can we? Or the evil Bluey family starts throwing nasty things up there. I have an idea. Remember that old greenhouse we took apart? There were some glass panels left over. They'd be perfect for the roof. The glass will let the light in, so the tower will be bright and cozy. It's also strong enough to withstand small impacts. Daddy, help me lift these panels. Careful, don't drop them. Glass is a fragile material. That's it, that's good. Now our tower is safe from rain, hail, and even the evil Bluey family. Good thinking, dear. Iron blocks are just what we need. They'll make our tower a fortress. In the meantime, I'll get to work on the roof. The glass panels from the greenhouse are perfect. So, let's see. First, we need to make a frame of wooden blocks so that the panels will hold tight and won't fall down. Bingo, can you hand me a hammer and nails? And a saw, too, to cut the timbers to size. Careful, Bluey, don't get too close. There's splinters and sawdust flying around. You'd better help your mom with the iron blocks. Okay, the frame is ready. Now we have to carefully place the glass panels. The main thing is not to break them. Glass is a fragile material. Careful, careful. That's it. Great. The first panel is in place. Now the second, the third. Look, Bluey, it's a beautiful roof. Bingo, be careful. Don't step on the edges of the panels. They might crack. Mom, what about the door? We can't leave the entrance open. The evil Bluey family could get in and ruin everything. I have an idea. Do you know that old iron door from the garage? It's just the right size, and we need buttons to open and close it. We can make them out of old toy cell phones. Daddy, can you help me take the door off its hinges? It's so heavy. Okay, now we have to attach it to the tower. Bingo, hand me the screwdriver, please. All right, the door's in place. Now the buttons. The red one will be for opening and the green one for closing. That's it. Done. Now our tower is a real fortress. With strong walls, a glass roof, and an iron door, the evil Bluey family won't get through. Now our tower is a real impregnable fortress. With strong walls of obsidian and iron, a transparent glass roof, Wow, Bluey, that's a deep moat you're making. The evil Bluey family won't be able to jump over it. You know what would make our defense even better? Spikes. Remember when you and I used to pick cacti in the desert? They have thorns so sharp and long, it's scary to look at. Can you imagine if we put them all over the moat? The evil Bluey family wouldn't want to step on them. Let's go to our secret warehouse. I saw a whole box of thorns. Oh, and I have an idea. We can paint them in different colors to make them pretty, like red, blue, and yellow. That way, the evil Bluey family will see the surprise from afar and won't even be afraid to come near our tower. Okay, let's divide up the work. You keep digging the ditch, and I'll get the thorns and paint. And don't forget the paintbrushes. Oh, and we'll need gloves so we don't prick ourselves. Wow. That's a lot of thorns. Enough for the whole moat and more to go around. The evil Bluey family will be jealous of our beauty and ingenuity. I can only imagine how surprised the evil Bluey family will be when they see our moat of thorns. They probably won't even realize they're thorns and will think we've grown cacti. Look, look, over there on the horizon. See, it's the evil Bluey family. They're coming to our tower. Don't worry, guys, we're ready for them. Our tower is a fortress, and they can't take it. We have strong walls, a glass roof, an iron door with secret buttons, and, of course, our secret moat with thorns. Ha, 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 they're so clumsy. Careful, Bingo. Keep your head down. They might see you. It's better to watch them from around the corner. Look! They're approaching the moat. I wonder if they'll realize it's full of thorns. Ha ha, 
I don't think so. They're so sure of their strength, they don't even look under their feet. First to go, looks like the evil Bluey family isn't so evil, more like stupid. Well guys, it looks like we've won. <laughs>